you very much. Dear colleague, uh, I will present which Michael, which uh, Anička Křivková, uh, Čeng Ambitious Project uh, Slavia. Slavia is space laboratory for advanced variable instruments and application. Goal of this project is the proof of concept of low-cost satellite able to provide online, online uh, spectral and mass analysis of near-ear objects. Uh, the scientific uh, mission, uh, scientific part of this mission uh, is piloted by Hayrovsky Institute and the Institute of Atmospheric Physics. Uh, just uh, explication of... We have few different uh, uh, space mission Hayrovsky Institute piloted by uh, Dr. Uh, Martin Ferus. One is the Ariel. Uh, Ariel is the study of exoplanet invisible in infrared regime. Second one is the LUGO, concept of micro, uh, microsat orbiter. Uh, first is Envision. Uh, this is a, a mission for, for Venus. And the last is Slavia. Uh, the Slavia is standard mission of two uh, very small Kube satellites. It is 20 to 20 to 30 centimeters, is really small. And uh, which three uh, different uh, scientific payloads. One is Vesna, this is hyperspectral camera for analysis of meteor ablation plasma. Second one is Hanka, it is a high mass, uh, mass spectrometer uh, exploring the dust composition on orbit. And uh, last is the Jeep. If the, this uh, project was realized, the expected launch is 2027. First instrument, uh, Jeep uh, 2. Uh, PI of this project if, uh, is the Professor Ondra Santolik from Institute of Atmospheric Physics. And uh, this is a new type of uh, broadband radio receiver. Uh, which frequency between 1 kilohertz to uh, 40 megahertz. Uh, principle of this instrument uh, using the heritage from the uh, Tyrannis uh, spacecraft. Second one uh, is the, this uh, HANKA, acronym for uh, Hmotnosti Atalizator Pro Kosmické Aplikace. And uh, you can see the uh, 3D model of uh, instruments. No, I just like. Voila. It is four unity. Each unity is 10 to 10 to 10 centimeter. And uh, this is semantic of apparatus. And you can see the, uh, uh, yes, the laboratory prototype in Herovsky Institute. A Hanka instrument is a high resolution orbit trap based uh, electrostatic ion trap mass analyzer. And uh, Hanka will bring this new technology into space. Uh, only for comparison between the uh, uh, last uh, CDA analyzer and Hanka, what is, is really important is the mass, re mass resolution. If you're regarding here from CDA, in mass 28, you have very large peak. And it is supposing it is SE. But if you take spectra from Hanka, you can, uh, this is a laboratory uh, data. I make the melanges between CO, it is mass 28, and 2 plus, mass 28, and C2H4, mass 28. But uh, the masses is a little bit different, and we can make differences between these three peaks in mass 28. This is very important if you will to make the exact analysis of organic component in ignored uh, extraterrestrial uh, parts. Uh, last instrument, it is Vesna, and it is Anishkavi. Continue. 
uh, thank you for the introduction. So once again, uh, my name is uh, Anna Krivkova and my role in the Slavia project is uh, the deputy of the PI for the Vesna instrument and PI is uh, Martin Ferus, uh, as already mentioned. So uh, me meteor observation and uh, meteor spectra recording uh, is nothing new. Uh, the spectrographs have uh, been used for uh, chemical analysis of meteor plasma for more than 100 years. And the uh, spectral camera Vesna uh, follows the, the same concept as the ground-based uh, spectrographs. There is a camera and uh, the camera is equipped with a with lens. And before, uh, in front of the lens, uh, there is uh, some grading, a uh, diffraction grading uh, or some other diffraction element. And when the light from the meteor passes through the grading, uh, the light is uh, diffracted to each wavelength. And then we will have uh, a photo of the, of the meteor. And in the photo, we can see also the spectrum of the plasma. And uh, uh, as I said, the meteor observation is nothing new, but the problem is that the ground-based observations are uh, limited by the atmosphere because we are looking through the atmosphere, so we are losing the UV region, which is, uh, which is attenuated in the lower, lower atmospheres. And also, uh, we are uh, limited by the weather conditions. We can't observe meteors when there is like clouds, uh, or we, we need to wait for, for clear sky to observe uh, such a phenomenon. And that's like the advantage for observation from the uh, Earth orbit, because then we can see the UV region and also we are not limited. We don't need to wait for the clear sky. So the main goal for the Vesna instrument is uh, to record the spectra of meteors. And from the spectra, we are uh, planning to gain the knowledge about the chemical composition of the meteor plasma. And the other goal is also to calculate the trajectories of the of the parties that were entering the atmosphere, and for these calculations, we need a stereoscopic observation, which means that we need to see the same phenomenon from two two sides. And this is also one of the main reasons why uh, Slavia is actually uh, a concept of two of bus like tandem of two satellites, because then we are planning to have uh, on each satellite one camera and the cameras are gonna be tilted at an angle of 27 degrees towards each other. Uh, and with this, uh, with this setup, we will gain uh, overlap of the field of use of the cameras and we will get the stereoscopic observations that we need for the trajectory calculation. And uh, of course, this project, uh, there are a lot of parties that are involved in this project. Uh, it, Slavia is led by Saab Aerospace, which is uh, in Brno. And uh, as was already said, the instruments are uh, led by the Hirovsky Institute and Institute of Atmospheric Physics. And I would also like to uh, name the, the observatory in Valeske Meziricci, uh, that they are providing us with their knowledge about the meteor observations, and they are a very big partner in this project. So thank you for the attention. <laughs> 